Hi, chaps. Who's your old pal, Tommy Tinker Smith? Welcome back to the land of make something. You caught me doing me break time. I was just having me favorite, a spot of tea and a good old cheese sandwich. I love a good cheese sandwich. They're my very favorite. Now, today, we're going to get back to what we started last time. We're making a coat of arms. A nice shield that's going to have information on it. A drawing about what makes us special. We're all different. Different is good. Some of us are tall. Some of us are short. Some of us are, are speedy at running. And other of us are crafty at making things. What makes us different is good. Now imagine for a second. What if the only thing there was to eat was a cheese sandwich? Now I like a good cheese sandwich, but after a couple days, I think my taste buds would be getting tired of having that same old cheese sandwich. Day after day, the same thing. That's right. But thankfully, there's a lot more than just cheese sandwiches to eat. You, you got lots of choices, and they're all different. You can have Mexican, you can have Chinese, you can have a good old burger, and, and, and the, all these things are different, and that's why it's good. Different is good. This time all you need is your shield from last time, some permanent markers, and some newspaper. Boys and girls, a little word about using permanent markers. Before you use them, you have to go get permission from your mom and your dad to see if it's okay for you to use them. Because they are permanent markers, which means if they get on something, they'll be on there for a long time. Maybe forever. That's right. But if they say it's okay to use them, then there's a few things you gotta do to make sure you don't make a mess. Step one, get some old newspapers and lay them down everywhere so that if any go of the marker goes through or if you go off on the edge, it doesn't make a mess and you're not in trouble. That's a good tip. Step two, put on an old shirt when you go to do this so if you accidentally make a mark, it's no big deal. The first thing that we wanna do is divide our shield into four sections by making an X. In the first section, we're all going to make the Tin Pan Knight logo, which are cross pans and a bucket helmet. Even though we're all different, we all come together to make the Order of the Tin Pan Knights. That's right, we're all in this together. You might need to practice a few times on a piece of printer paper to get the logo down or have a big person help you. But there it is, looking great. Ten Pan Knights! Now we pick our suit. Each one has a particular set of skills, like whether you're dramatic or you're speedy. You pick the one you think works the best for you. I'm picking the diamond. You draw that right on the second area. Next up, you got your class. That's the job you got in the Tin Pan Knight's Kingdom. There's four of them there. Each one's awesome. You got Ace, which is like an acrobat. Scout that goes around scouting. Tinker, that's like me. And lastly, you got Detective. Each one has their own special logo. Now I've decided that I'm going to make the Tinker logo on mine because, haha, <laughs> well, I'm Tommy Tinker Smith. So it's got a wrench and it's got a screwdriver and they're making a nice little cross symbol like that and just drew them right out. Now remember, you're going to pick the one that you are. So you might be making the compass or the little acrobatic A or you might be making the little magnifying glass. But whatever it is, you just draw it on out like so. Now the last space is the tricky one because you've got to come up with your own logo. What makes you special? On this shield made by a special camper, they have a big tall blue house, so they made a logo of a big tall blue house. But for me, I've got Merlin the Cat, and I decided to make my logo of him wearing me top hat. So there you go. There's the space. I thought about it. There's the cat. I'm going to draw him right out on there. There you have it. A coat of arms. 
Yes, right, we're all different. I was just telling me pal Mel and the cat though that even though we're all different, in some ways we're all the same. We all have the same feelings. Sometimes you're happy and sometimes you're sad and sometimes you get frustrated. Right now, I'm feeling glad. Glad that you stopped into the land to make something. I can't wait to see your coat of arms. Until next time, remember, keep creating.